YAY stands for Youth Engaged in Action. The program is intended for 13-year-olds that are too old for camp but too young to start working. With the pandemic, we had a one-week virtual program. We realized that there were a lot of youth that did not have access to accommodations that we take for granted, such as working computer, internet, and a quiet space. So we provided a space for a few youth to come in and work at our sites because we have the accommodations to do so. Because we were able to have so much success last year, we decided to do two sessions. So this year we were able to assist close to 40 youth with this program intended for youth learning and job readiness. Civic engagement is like getting into the community and engaging yourself through activism, trying to help the community become a better place. We have been working on a project about the community. There's a few groups on different problems in the community. My groups learned about homelessness in Boston. We were learning about how in Dudley Square they have these things called tiny houses where homeless people can um, stay at. And we've been trying to have more tiny houses built for more people so we can get them into a place so they can be at least financially stable with the job. We're thinking about like a rehab type program for them to get back on track and get to the places they need to be. These young people are going to be the next generation. So I felt like it was really good to actually get the young people involved and actively go out and see things going on in their neighborhood and see what sort of changes that can be made and know who they can speak to in order to actually get these changes taken care of. With it being a very big election year in the city of Boston, we decided as normal to invite representatives from the local community to come and talk to the youth. We tend to usually hear from adults on what children need. I'd like to see more youth involved in programs like this, more youth in government programs, because I don't think um, younger people are as involved as they should be when it comes to making decisions for them. Many of the youth had no idea that even though they weren't able to vote, they still have a voice in the way things are chosen and the way individuals support specific bills. And it was a very productive conversation. The transferable skill is a skill that can be used in one career that can also be used in another. So just as you guys said, it's not specific to one career. You can use it anywhere you go. Job readiness, we help the kids learn about professionalism in the workplace. We're doing things without being asked just to make sure that everyone is taken care of in the workplace and makes the job a lot more easy and efficient. The more you know at a younger age, the more it can help you out in the future. I'm trying to get like into high school faster so I can pursue the, the career path that I want. The program gave a lot of skills that you could use and it gave ideas to help you stay on your career path and it helped me plan out what I'm trying to do before I finish high school. They don't teach about it in school, so learning about it here is like extra knowledge you can use for in the future. How long does information last on the internet? So um, forever. Even if you do delete it, once you post something on the internet, that's there forever. Like, it's once you post something, it's not going away. We're learning about how you can be safe online and you shouldn't be oversharing and you should be staying safe on what you're posting online and what you're sharing online. Not everything has to be posted on social media. There's not a need, and if you feel pressured, then you should see why you feel pressured into posting, because there's no reason that you have to be posting. When we spoke about food insecurity, we spoke about how food is hard to come across for a lot of people, and so we really wanted to make sure we emphasize the different food banks around Boston. The base one that we covered was the Greater Boston Food Bank, of which a lot of the young people were familiar with, but we also wanted to make sure they knew about different resources as well, such as ABCD itself and different other food banks around the city that they could use. My hope is that with them entering into the workforce next year, that they understand what it takes to be an adult. My mother would always tell me that an adult isn't somebody who has a driver's license or has their own apartment. An adult is an individual that is able to make great choices and is able to participate in the community and to support their family. And this is exactly what this program is intended to do.